Well, Chancellor, you know, Mary and I met here at Vanderbilt University many, many years ago now, and we thought that this would be the best place to sort of put our papers. After that, there were three terms in the United States Senate and four years, almost four years as ambassador to China. We thought Vanderbilt was a fitting repository for our papers and our memoirs, and hopefully they will be of some help and assistance to future scholars and students uh, here at Vanderbilt and from other places. But we're proud to have Vanderbilt University as the repository of our papers. Well, we're, we're thrilled, and I know that uh, our students now and faculty, but you know, over generations, will use these materials to really further knowledge, advance knowledge, and you'll be a pivotal part of the work. And we're just thrilled that you've you know, made this generous decision to donate them to Vanderbilt. In China, the U.S. Embassy remains under attack by angry demonstrators following NATO's bombing of the Chinese Embassy in Belgrade. We mistakenly uh, bombed the Chinese Embassy in Belgrade. Well, you were the ambassador yes, when and we, we... Yeah, and we killed uh, two or three of their mm. diplomats there. And, of course, traditionally, this would be an act of war. Yeah. And uh, there was great anger, and there were mobs uh, attacking uh, our embassy. This is the outside of our embassy. I always felt through that ordeal that we would come out of it all right because we had worked so hard to build bridges with the Chinese leadership after we had apologized and President Clinton had publicly apologized to the, publicly apologized twice mm. to the Chinese. Uh, and we were leaving China. The President of China, Xiong Zemin, entertained Mary and myself at his private residence. And I think that was, um, uh, that was uh, a symbol of the work that we had done and the high esteem that he had for President Clinton and for Mary and myself and for the United States in a way of saying we regret what had happened before.